Hi friends, uh, in this video we will be learning about how to create, update and delete and fetch. Okay, so it is called as PHP CRUD also. So as we will be creating a CRUD, okay, so PHP CRUD and uh, yeah guys, so let's get started with that. So I have created a folder, so let I will show you. Uh, this is my C docs inside exam. I use exam and inside HD docs I have created one folder inside it. Okay, so I basically I use my Visual Studio Code editor. Okay, so it's best according to me. So in that we'll be creating a file. So guys, before doing this, I will just tell you about the database. So I have created one database called PHP CRUD, and inside that one student table. Okay. So inside that student table, I have I will show you the structure now. So structure are nothing but ID, name, last name, and contact. Okay, ID is auto incremented, and uh, I have inserted two datas. Okay, so first thing we'll be doing in this video is that uh, fetching of data. Okay, so let's get started with that. Index dot php. Oops. So index.php now our file is created now if you want you can just see here okay so it's exam HD docs it's created right so guys uh, yeah so let's start let me zoom out okay I'll close that and now guys yeah without wasting time we'll finish that so HTML5 and I want to use one bootstrap link so I have already just copy pasted so what I will do is that this is my bootstrap link okay so I'll use over here done so this is nothing but my bootstrap link that I will design the form according to it okay guys so now let's design the form inside the body so i'll use one bootstrap container and one jumbotron so and we'll give one heading so that is h2 php crud okay php crud that is display data in pure php okay php or php mysql according to it you can display your data so i'll give one hr that is horizontal to while create now guys we have to do is that coding so for coding in this we'll get start open php and close php so as a normal thing we have to give the database connection is equals to mysql mysql i connect with your database okay so those are three fields one is localhost and user and username okay so in this now we have to give localhost root and my password but i don't have password so i am not keeping my password okay so here no password and now that is next is the database that is db inside that my sql i select db so inside that we will use this connection okay so we are giving this connection and pasting as simple okay and normal my table name is my database name is I'll show you PHP CRUD. Okay, so PHP CRUD done, and yeah, guys. So now I am retrieving the data. So now let's write the query. So query that is to select star star means all star from your table name that is student okay so my table name is nothing but 
student so that is student and yeah so let's run the query just give the statement query run i mean variable query run and my sql i my sql i that is query method of dollar connection okay so copy that dollar connection comma dollar query okay so paste the dollar query okay so after this now you have to use the while loop okay so i'm telling that i'll give if condition that if the data is there show or else no record found okay so as simple just give a space and copy this variable and paste okay paste and give a here echo that is no record found okay if record is found he should show so we'll use while loop so while loop and i'll create a variable called do dollar row so in that my sql i underscore fetch fetch and array okay a r r a y okay so inside this method and what you are going to fetch is nothing but your this query this dollar this variable okay that you have connected it so done and now you are going to declare that while loop what you are storing the value so we'll just print the value first we'll see what is the output for that and dollar row oops not like this dollar row of id okay so id and let's copy control c control v v control v so next is name these are nothing but my uh, database name okay so just i'll show you one second yeah guys so these are database and this is our contents okay f name l name and contacts so that is over here done so i'll show you the output of this whether the data is retrieved or not now save the program go to it and let's check for that um, a slash php c r u d okay so the data is coming okay so i'll show you um, come on dude so with prakash and this mobile number contact number so data is there with our mobile number so let's design in a one template format okay so here yeah guys so without wasting time we'll design very fast and soon so so what i'm going to do is that divide the phps okay so php close and php end done but it will continue okay so there will be no effect itself so we'll create one table okay so table and and yeah so oh wait i'll go according to my design okay so that is one class is equals to where i'm using bootstrap class so tabl table as the word rd border and i will give one style is equal to background color as white and yeah so next that is table head okay so table head open and close so in this i will give one class is equal to that is table dark okay now in this one table row will declare so in this now t h okay in this id so we have to copy this control c we paste 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 
so there are four contents I have just done with that and now first name is first first name and next is like last name and and finally is that one contact okay so now contact done and uh, we'll give two more things for one to edit and one delete okay so we'll just mention it as edit and this one delete okay so guys now our table head is ready okay now we will design the table body okay so inside while loop okay these are while loop inside while loop we will divide the php okay so first php close and php open okay so now we can design our table into it right so don't get confused guys this is the way how we divide and display the inside the table okay so for that now we'll declare one t body okay so that is table body inside the table body we'll declare one row so inside row we'll declare a th Oops. what happened to this okay so th done and now in this we have to show the value okay so those values are like your uh, declared one so we'll just paste paste and two more things okay so we have six one two three four five six and one two three four five six so we are going to display these things into your td so just cut and paste over here so open php and close php so inside this you are going to paste it done that's it so just copy Control C, Control V, Control V, Control V, and these are for edit. Okay, so we'll change this there. Here now first name and last name. So then contact. Okay, guys. So we don't need this. So we'll just clear it off and just arrange it so in this now we will create one href link that is for edit edit it okay and one more href link in this for delete okay delete delete done okay so we'll give one class for this alias class is equals to so I'll use bootstrap class that is primary and one more class I will use copy it and paste it so I'm going to use over here danger, danger. so yeah guys so let's check out the uh, output but before output seeing table is open but table is not closed so let's just close the table uh, outside we'll close it just we'll close the table that we have created okay table close and let's go back to our browser and reload boom so we have got the data into the table format so guys now uh, wait i'll show you the data that is with prakash and his phone number this own prakash and his phone number so you have got the student record of this okay so guys now we'll uh, do for adding the data okay so like to add the data on this so we'll create and we'll edit and we'll delete the data okay so for this further video like how to insert the data from this one form itself please watch out the next video so we are going to create so i'll create the button now for the insertion of data okay so i'll just go at top of it and so i'll give one row okay 
row inside that row i'm going to create one href link that it should take the button okay so this is i'll give add as add data okay and we'll give the link to the form and here we'll give class is equals to btn btn minus c c c d s s this is bootstrap class okay and so i'll give one with style style is equals to that is margin left of 80 percentage okay and now let's check out the output for it reload boom it's too attached so let's break the line give a break that is br done refresh and here now you are going to learn how to add or insert the data into the database using php okay guys so so guys in this in this video that's all so thank you for watching this video and please subscribe like and share the video thank you guys